Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 1394, find lucky integer in an array question. Before I start with the video guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started with the problem statement now. So basically guys, we are given an array of integers and in this array of integers, we want to find out the lucky integer. A lucky integer is an integer that has a frequency which is same as that of the integer value. So for example, in this case, 2 is occurring twice. So that's why 2 is the lucky integer. But we can have more than one lucky integers in the, in the array. So in that case, we have to return the maximum one. So for example, in this case, in uh, second example, you can see that 3 is occurring 3 times, 2 is occurring 2 times, 1 is occurring 1 time. So although all of them are lucky integers, we are returning the largest, which is 3. If there are no lucky integers present inside the array, we will simply return minus 1. The constraints are that the length of the array occurs from 1 to 500. The value of the array goes from 1 to 500. Okay, let's get started with the uh, solution part. So basically guys, here is the approach which we are going to use to solve this problem. Uh, we are going to use a method of hash maps here. Okay. So we are going to create a hash map of the integer number and uh, it, its frequency value. Okay. So we are going to create a, a hash map by traversing the entire array which will have uh, the integer, the lucky integer and the frequency. And after that we will traverse the entire hash map. So traverse the map and find out which is the maximum integer. Okay. So this is going to be our approach guys. I know it's a very, very simple and basic approach. Uh, but it works for this, uh, for this question and our time complexity is also pretty good. So let's try to solve the question and then in the later half I'll discuss the time complexity again. Okay. So let's just start with the solution. So the first thing is we are going to declare a hash map. So to declare a hash map, we are using a Java class hash map integer integer and then map becomes equals to new hash map and then the brackets. Okay. Now that we have created a hash map, we have to have two uh, other values declared. One is going to be our maximum key. So we know that the key of this hash map is going to be our lucky integer and the value of this hash map is going to be the frequency of the lucky integer, right? So there is going to be a maximum lucky integer, obviously, and there is going to be the maximum frequency of that lucky integer. So these are going to be those variables. So maximum integer, I'm going to by default declare it to minus one because that is what we are going to return if we don't find any lucky integer. And the maximum frequency, I'm going to declare it to 0. Now we are just going to traverse the array. So for integer i equals to 0 to i less than array dot length i plus plus. Okay. If the map or has that key. So if map uh, contains key array i, then we are just going to increment it. So map dot put array i comma map dot get array i plus one else just going to add a new entry so map dot put arri comma one so after this for loop my map will be filled with the integer keys uh, the lucky integer keys and their frequency values so now is the time to traverse the hash map so for integer key in map dot key set and for every key we are going to check the value so if key is equal equals to map dot get key so first of all uh, this is a condition that the value of the lucky integer that means the key must equals to the frequency of the lucky integer so that means map dot get key the frequency should be equal to the uh, key value if that is true if the number is a lucky integer and the maximum frequency is lesser than the map dot get key or we can also do it something like this that the maximum 
key is lesser than the current key then it means that the uh, this value is our maximum uh, lucky integer so i'm just gonna uh, make sure that max key becomes equals to the key and max frequency becomes equals to the map dot get key actually you don't need max frequency so let me just remove this part here you don't need max frequency you only need max key so if key uh, is equal equals to the uh, frequency of the key that means map dot get key it means it's a lucky integer and if max key that means the current lucky integer is lesser than the uh, lucky integer in the in the key set then the, we are just going to set the max key to the current key okay in the end guys we are just going to return the max key value which is our lucky integer so let's run this code guys let's see if this works and you can see that uh, this works for one example and let's see if this works for others as well and there you go guys you can see that the solution is accepted and it works for all the other test cases as well so if i discuss about the time complexity for this solution guys the time complexity for this solution is going to be order of n because we are doing two n loops one is uh, traversing the entire array and one is traversing the hash map so it is going to be order of n okay next about the space complexity uh, for space complexity also it is going to be order of n because we are using a hash map an extra data structure to store all the uh, keys and the frequency of lucky integer so that's why we have got space complexity also order of n and time complexity also order of n uh, but this solves our uh, problem guys and it passes all the test cases pretty well that we have already seen uh, so I hope that you guys like the solution and your coding practice became a little bit better. If it has guys then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. And uh, also guys if you are not yet subscribed then please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for me write down in the comment section below. I will definitely address them. And I make your videos every day from Monday to Friday. So I will see you guys in the next video. Until then take care. Bye-bye.